Hello, I'm Thomas Kubica, and in this video, I'm going to continue with a ClearPass guest demonstrations. And this time, I want to show you how to do the self-registration uh, of the guest. So let's go to the guest manager and uh, go to the pages section, and let's create the new guest self-registration page. So let me click here to create the new one and put some name here. So that's a registration, and um, here that's the actual URL, which uh, is going to be uh, in the ClearPass guest available for configuration. We're fine with all that, so let's click Save and Continue, and we can do some other things. So I will specify you know, some skin here, once again the Galera skin, which is cool, and uh, of course you can, you can do a lot of things with that. We can enable some advertising here and things like that. We can uh, customize some some messages or other behavior. We're fine with that. Uh, then the register user interface page again can be customized here, and there is a registration receipt, which means you know some details about the registration um, can be customized, and we can make the user download it, print it, send it via the email, via the SMS page, or whatever like that. We we just leave it on defaults. Maybe you need to confirm it by the sponsor. In our case, we don't want to do the confirmation, so you just you just register and we will let you in. That's a use case I am showing to you right now. The last thing I want to do is I will redirect the user to the page I want. So after they successfully you know, register and log into the network, they're going to be redirected uh, to the page of my choice, which can be my company page or whatever like that. So let's save this. And uh, do some other authentication uh, uh, configuration. Uh, we don't really have to change this right now, but we really can customize all of the logins, and we can even uh, do some social login stuff if we want. Let me just keep everything on a default. We want to keep this really simple. And uh, about the self-service portal, you can specify if you want those users to be able to change their password afterwards and uh, log in into the self-service portal uh, where they can do things. Um, you can really customize a lot. We are not going to do this here. This is actually the flowchart of how the things are working, you know, what are the various pages and things like that. But um, luckily enough, you, you don't have to really understand all of that uh, to, to use the system, we can start with the very simple things which we just did right now. So let's go to our configuration in the Arubainstein AP. That's a configuration from our previous video. Only thing we want to do here right now is go uh, to a authentication service and actually change the URL. So instead of uh, redirecting our users into uh, into the previous example, which was uh, guest manager stuff, we will redirect them to the different page, which is about self-registration. So here it is. So that's how it looks. So we can once again customize all that, but uh, we, we did not do that. So I'm as a user, I will just put some username here. I will put, put some email address. I will accept the terms and conditions. And I'm fine with that, and I click on register. So what is happening here that um, I'm registering uh, with the ClearPass guest, and here it is. So that's my account name, that's my password, which has been generated. You can also send the password via the SMS and things like that, which we will we'll demonstrate in our different videos in this series. And as you can see, I have been also transferred to the page of my choice, which can be my uh, company page or whatever like that. So that's basically how it works. It is not difficult to really set it up. So what we are going to do is uh, go ahead and check some logs to make sure that everything works as expected. And then we have some information like that. So let's go to the account. And here you can see there is a new account which has been automatically created because we did not require anyone to actually confirm the pre-registration of the user. We can do it. But with that, you can see that we have some information about the user, such as uh, the device is HTC Corporation and it's running Android. And we have uh, information about that it is a smart device and things like that. So we're really gathering some information about the users. We can go uh, to the uh, to the ClearPass policy manager, which is actually responsible for the authentication, and uh, we can see the radius request here. So, thanks for watching.